Hey everyone, can you believe it? We're almost done. Lesson 28 of 30 songs in 30 days lesson series. And today we're covering a rock anthem. More than a feeling by the legendary Boston. This song has some great chord modifications and pretty awesome intro. So let's get to it. We're gonna be playing our open D major in this song and we're also gonna be playing a modification of our D. We've seen this one several times before. Take your D, there it is. Add your pinky to the third fret on the sixth string and you make the D sus. Right there. That's our modified D for this song. We're also gonna be playing a modification of our G chord in this song. Now, of course, this is G, but I played this modified version. This is the way I almost always play G. The reason why this inversion of G, this inversion of C, we're going to be covering a lot of the intro with these shapes, these particular ways of playing C and G. Before you know it, you'll actually be playing the intro, and the thing that you'll be needing to learn is which strings to pluck down here. You'll already be playing the right chords down here. What we're trying to get to is this is the D. Here's our modified C. Here's our modified G. So the only string that we need right here is this. So you got D, C. That would be a G over B, because this is our B right here. That's B, and this is G, and then our G chord. The reason why these are important is because you're already starting to play the intro. If it sounds a little familiar, it's like this. <laughs> Once you know how, it's gonna be very, very smooth and fluid. What I'm trying to do is get you familiar with these very simple moves here. Let's just start there on the D. Move to here, and that modified C, using this finger. There you go, look. You can do a lot in this whole little area with these two fingers. Keep these here. So if we incorporate the D suspended at the beginning, this. <laughs> More Than a Feeling is a great song. It mixes all sorts of styles and chords. Now this intro is immediately recognizable and it's got a very cool verse, a classic chorus, and a great set of interludes. I mean, really every part of this song is timeless in its own right. So let's learn them. The intro is based on the following chords. Our D, our modified D, the suspended. The C and the G, with the B coming up. <laughs> now, if it's hard to arpeggiate, meaning arpeggiate means to pick the strings individually, you know that by now. It's hard to do that for a lot of people. So if you want, just go. The most important thing is to try and get this. If you strum from here, those notes are kind of important. Otherwise, it ends up sounding like. You gotta make sure that you can kind of hear those through the strumming. That's really the most important thing. That's the gist of the intro and it goes straight into our verse as well. 
Okay, on to our verse. The verse is going to start with the chords for the intro. We play those three times in a row, and then we end with this bit. Four beats on D, four beats on a modified C, and then that descending bit, the G of B. And then we're up to the next section. That's the end of that verse. That's the bit where he goes, and I close my eyes and I sip the And we get to the next bit. Now you've definitely heard this part of the song before. It's called an interlude. Here's how to play it. First, we'll play the following chords in open position. It's gonna be an A minor, an E minor, and D. Two beats on A minor. One, two, two beats on E minor. One, two, four beats on D. One, two, three, four. Next, power chords. Remember them? That's these ones. <laughs> first and third fingers only. Although I use my first and fourth fingers. Power chords, very easy. Now you got two beats on G, got two beats on C, two beats on E. Even though it's an E minor, up here we're just doing two beats on D. So it'll basically sound like this. You'll notice the rhythm is a very important part of this song, because if you just went... <laughs> it works, but that kind of rhythmic, funky thing in the middle is pretty cool if you can get it. And to slow it down, if I can, it would be... One, two, chaka chaka, one, two, one, Two, chaka chaka, one, two, one, two, chaka chaka, one, two, one, two, chaka chaka, one, two. And if you want, you can slide up here like this. One, two, chaka chaka. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Play around with that until you get the feeling right because it's more than a feeling. Part one of our chorus borrows from the power chord section of our interlude. Now, remember it's G, so it's two beats on G, two beats on C, two beats on E, D, right? We play that three times through, as in. Fourth time, we're going to modify it just a little bit. We do two beats on G, two beats on C, and then check this out. We end on an E flat. There's E, so E flat is there. One down. E flat, and as weird as that sounds, it works beautifully. So the end is just like that. When you sing along with it, it works beautifully. So high. When I hear that old song they used to play, I think of dreaming. When I see my man walk away, and then see my Mary walking away. And by landing there, we're right back at the beginning for this. Let's walk through the order of the song. First is our intro, next is our verse, then our interlude, then our chorus, and then we got our intro, which is either the riff or progression, whichever you want to do. Then we got a verse, another interlude, and finally, we end on our chorus. Remember, each of these parts has a totally different feel. So focus on the dynamics of the song and how it changes throughout. Hey, y'all, this is more than a feeling. Let's 
out this morning and the sun was gone Turned on some music to start my day Lost myself in a familiar song Close my eyes and I slipped away Get out, guys. Start my day Lost myself in a